What's going on, guys? Bring your friends here, and today is a requested video by a username Adaminsky45. Basically, I'm going to show you a certain transition that he requested in Avid Studio. Now, basically, what you need to do before you even start attempting something like this is one, of course, you need to have, have Avid Studio. Two, you need to go pick up a paint program. Uh, I use Paint.net just because it's free and somewhat uh, easy to use, especially for a transition like this. And that's pretty much all you need for this. So, what you do, and by the way, if I start coughing, I'm sorry, I'm a little sick, but I wanted to get this uh, video out because it's been like all week since this user messaged me. So, what you need to do, <coughs> God damn it, is import one clip. Uh, I just imported a clip from Modern Warfare, and then you need to make a still image. So, I just zoomed all the way in on the track. Let's go to the right here a bit. Do, 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 do. Okay. So basically, you go to the very end, and I split the clip. So what I did is it just goes by, you know, clip, 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 clip. Every one of those things is a frame. So I just selected one frame, hit end, and then what I did from there. Right click, go to Open Effects Editor, you go to Corrections, you go to Snapshot, and then it takes up the whole screen, you go to Apply, and then that saves it to the library, which is generally uh, just your regular pictures folder. So I'm going to exit out of there, and then I'm going to go to Pictures folder. find the picture. Let's see if I can find it. Let's see what it was. Here it is. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Okay, snapshot five. So I need to open paint.net. So you take that file that you just snapshot, throw it in there. And then I'm going to use this brick as what I'm going to use for the transition. So I'm going to select your eraser tool, which is right there. And then I'm going to hit Control, mouse scroll up to zoom in on the image itself. And you're just going to start to outline it. And by the way, the, the more time you put into erasing said item that you want to use for your transition, the better it will look because pretty much the object is to make everyone believe that it just kind of appeared out of nowhere. So you want to make it kind of just flawless. And then once you outlined it, just fill in the blanks. Oh, see how I went outside right there? Control Z, do it over again. You don't want anything going out of, out of the outside uh, erased marks that you just did. So basically, once you filled in the blanks, make sure there's no empty spots, zoom back out, go to File, Save As, save it to your desktop as a PNG file. If, it, if you don't have it in a, as a PNG file, it won't work. Basically, what PNG does is anything that you have erased on the image, as a PNG file, it saves it as empty space. On a JPEG, it saves it as black, so you don't want it as black because of course, you can't do the transition that you want. So you just title it whatever. Save. OK. Saves it to the desktop. So now what we do is you go to, let's see. Just find the image, whatever, throw it in there, and then you throw the still image into the project. And then now, I'm just going to make, because this is the first still image before it's been modified, and then this is the modified image. And then what you're going to do is with the next selected clip that you want, put it under it. 
because whatever's on top is going to show first, and then whatever's on bottom is going to show second. kind of make it not too long and then we'll, what I think I did on the last video go to open effects editor I did a zoom just zooming straight into that uh, that empty space so you go to 2d 3d actually no camera come on I think it was camera yeah pan and zoom and then you want to be key markers so you can control the zoom a lot better. So everything's at zero on this. So this is where it starts. That's where it ends. So you want the zoom to be huge. That way it takes up the whole screen, which basically means it's going to zoom into the next scene. Once we have it black, so it starts there, ends there. Hit OK. Set image. Boom. Next scene. So hopefully you guys liked it. Uh, this is Bring Your Friends. If you have any questions or anything relating on the matter in general, please uh, send me a message and I will be sure to get back to you and enjoy. See you guys.